Do you read any philosophy? If so, do you have an author you particularly Oh, enjoy? God. No. Yeah. He's, no. They've asked it like three or four times now. So. No, I don't. I, I'm not really into philosophy. Sorry. I took a philosophy class in university, and it was one of the most useful classes I ever took. And I'm very, very grateful and happy that I took it because that class had nothing to do with philosophy. And it was all about the construction of arguments and how to make a sound argument. And it taught logic like it was math. And uh, I, I really got a lot out of that. I learned a lot from Just that. Just say can't. Just say can't. I like can't. That is philosophy. Well, yes and no. I, I guess it is. Like, I agree. But when most people think of philosophy, they think of morals. And, you know, like, they'll say some saying, like, eat as much chocolate as you want. That's my philosophy. And it's like, yeah, that's not a philosophy, dude. That's just you being a fat ass. So it's like, but th that's kind of the view of what philosophy is. I enjoy thinking about those things, but... Uh, reading about them. I don't know. I was really put off by some of the TAs that we had, the teacher's assistant and the tone of what they had. We learned about Descartes and, you know, I think therefore I am and all this other shit. And we have to write a paper on that. And I wrote a paper about it, like a rebuttal to that, which, you know, sounds like pretty, pretty hardcore, but the TA just dismissed it out of hand without even really considering it. And it was, I was really annoyed that that happened because I thought that this was a good argument and it was reasoned well. And it's like, no, this, this is dumb. It was something about like, to say, you think therefore you are is a flawed premise because what if you're like a record player and your thoughts that you're going through are, are set in motion and, and they've been set forever and you just don't realize it that your thoughts are always the same and you don't re basically it was, it was a a rough version of saying that what if there's no free will and you're just an algorithm you know that that's it that that is all there is to it and this doesn't actually make sense and the ta just dismissed it and basically called me an idiot and it wasn't until later that i like read up and it was like oh this is actually a a proper like realized rebuttal to this argument and my ta just shot it down because he just disagrees with it and i was like fuck you dude yeah, like i i may have gotten invested side. in this and now i didn't you know so being surrounded by i think i think he was like really snide about it too. he was like a, a record player doesn't think as much as a block of cheese does it was it was some really snide bullshit comment he was a pretentious little asshole too i really didn't like that guy he always came in with his fucking Starbucks coffee and he held it by the lid as he walked around just sneering at the whole entire class. Ooh, here we are, yeah. I'm yeah, because his professor was, was sneering at him, so he was sneering at just like, you know, shit rolls down the hill, right? I'm not bitter. Favorite philosopher? I don't think I have a favorite philosopher. I don't know that much about philosophy. I could say Descartes just just to say it, but like I don't I don't really know enough about them to say that, sorry. Oh, follow-up question for someone who asked the other stream uh, who my favorite philosopher was. I thought about it and I remembered I actually do have an answer. Um, my favorite philosopher is, is a very uh, contemporary philosopher, actually, and he's, he's fairly um, not well-known yet. Um, he has a kind of a weird name. His name is Dior's. Um, if you haven't heard of him, I highly recommend um, Dior's. Um, so I'm very, very uh, sorry that I didn't say that last time. I said Descartes instead because I was getting Descartes before Dior's. Um, I forgot all about that. So yeah, there's the, the real answer to the question. Sorry. 